Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for March 1st to the 7th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you will get personal reading with me or you'd like to get my new card deck, it's at jenniferwalkerz.com or check out the description box below this video. Please remember these are general messages. And so you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. Also, so we're gonna do the day to day and then the overall. If you guys like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so let's jump right in here. So let's go to my Taurus's romantic love life for March 1st, 7th. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th? Taurus's romantic love life from March 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got March 1st, March 2nd, March 3rd, March 4th, March 5th, March 6th, and March 7th. Guys, feel free to come back, check this out at the end of the week, and let me know how, how it played out in your individual situations in the comments below. This is what's gonna influence this cause this week. This is how your love interest, now it doesn't have to be the love interest that you're with, it could just be the person that you're here for, how they feel about you. This is your advice and please remember that this is, this is, this is, this is your advice, but it's only here as guidance. You don't have to take it if you don't want to, you have free will, okay? And this is the overall outcome. Now, sometimes I do get the titles from the overall outcome. So guys, as you can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we got single and available to pursue. Okay, okay. And we have, there is some, some regrets about what happened in the past. And it seems like there's conversations happening here. So uh, there is some conversations happening about, oh my God, are you single and available to pursue? You know, I have a lot of regrets about what happened here. Um, and I wanna talk to you, I wanna speak with you. I'm ready for some kind of change here. Let's see what the influence is considering that. Oh, okay, someone is missing you, okay? Taurus, someone is missing you. They feel that your absence is felt and they long for your embrace once again. And you can see that, you can already see that at the start of the week there, it's like all this regret happening. It's like, I have the sense of loss. And it's like way, way in the background, I see there's birds in this card. Let me show you. Now for me, birds can represent people talking and speaking in the background, right? And it's like, this person's not even paying attention to what's going on in the background. All they can see is, oh my God, this is what happened. Okay. So on the second, money and finance could be affecting your romantic love life on this day of the second. Yeah, nine of pentacles does show someone's self-focus there, nine of pentacles energy. And we see because there's an opportunity opening up for you guys. Okay. Possibly maybe even something financial involved with this situation. <laughs> okay, because it's saying there's conversations about this opportunity, okay? And it's like, I'm regretting about things. And nine of pentacles energy can be the card of single and available again, or someone who's self-focused there. And we see that there's some kind of money or finance going on here. Okay. So the door is open there. Mm, okay. So there's some friends influencing things here. All right. Or you're, uh, there's, there's something to do with friends or other people that may be supporting you. And so it's helping you really to avoid some disaster here on the third. Cause you were at a crossroads here with the, the uh, crossroads card. You're like, I don't know what to do here. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? What, what should I do here? So we see that there's this single and available uh, situation going on and something to do with money and finance and friends that are being supportive here um, and or influencing your romantic love life. We see that 
it's like I regret things you know um, and there's a self focus here and it's like a sense of I'm gonna get moved move past these challenges because I finally see there's light at the end of the tunnel there's conversations happening here with you guys because you have this opportunity that's opening up for you and you're at a crossroads you're just like I don't know what to do here okay and we see what the influence this week this influence this week is like I miss you I miss you I want to be with you I miss you okay so it looks like on the fourth you're just like you know what I'm going to focus on healing here. A time for reflection and prayers needed in the situation. You guys look like you are having a sense of using your intuition here with the High Priestess card or because of something secret here. Because remember, High Priestess can represent secrets. She also can represent like the book card energy, gaining knowledge. And you can see that there is a book in that car, in, the, in this card and it's like wide open there. Okay, so it's like you know what I need to focus on healing and recovery but I know that already like you know I know that already I'm, I'm aware of that and it's like this person's looking up and they're like yeah I'm aware I know things need to be brought into balance here because you're like there's a sense of stability and stableness around that all right so that day is a, a very healing day for you so on the fifth oh okay so we got romance going on here on the fifth okay okay your feelings are real and worth exploring and it's because of somebody who had walked away physically or mentally eight of cups energy and they're trying to gain control around this with the bear card energy they're trying to gain that strength that courage and confidence here because it's like you know what i walked away from the situation because what do i have up here regret and then what's the regret about walking away and the single and available and romantic feelings and conversations about strength or control or nurturing energy here. They're trying to be nurturing here. This is somebody who's trying to be nurturing here, possibly with the bear card energy, trying to gain control because of the fact, I feel like you guys like, or just like, I, I just want to walk away. I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. I want to walk away from the situation with this romance here. All right, on the sixth, we see there's a soulmate connection here. And it's like, you're being patient here. You're like, what do I need to do here? Like, should I get my cup of love? Should I not get my cup of love? Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, right? And it's like, what should I do here? Yep, we see a person card coming out. So on the six, you're just like, oh my God, this is like a soulmate connection, but I really need to figure out what I want to do emotionally here. So I better be patient or gain some advice. There's some romance here. I feel like there's some feelings and this is a soulmate connection, but on the same token, I don't know if I want to deal with my emotions right now and I need to figure things out. And I need some kind of control when it comes to this person. Mm, oh my God. And then we got the love card coming out. And this is like the 10 of cups energy. Oh my God, you guys are completely happy here on the seventh. <laughs> wow, King of Cups is coming out. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. I am making a wise choice when it comes to love and romance based on my past experiences. And you know what? I'm a little nervous about it here with <laughs> my scarred energy. Okay, okay. All right, so yes, you guys are going to be very happy by the end of the week. So let's clarify that a little bit more of who's missing you. Oh my God, they are taking romantic gestures towards you. Yep, travel, movement, change there with the ship card energy. They may be going towards you, moving towards you, okay? So it could be a long distance relationship because obviously the fact that the missing you card is going on here. Yeah, I mean, you guys are going to be completely happy. Yes, there's going to be a little bit of a nervous energy around it though, okay? Um, because we see the mice card energy here. Okay, so let's see how this person feels about you or this love interest feels about you. So it doesn't have to be this person in this thing. It could be whoever you turn on this video for, okay? So whoever you wanted to know about, as far as their feelings, you make them happy, okay? They have a sense that you have a lot of positive energy and they're hoping for a favorable outcome with you. And we see the Hierophant card. They have a sense that there's something spiritual or they like traditional values and marriage long-term commitment with the Hierophant card energy. And they just want loyalty with you, okay? Or friendliness there with the doll card energy, okay? Now you fulfill their wishes. They're ready for some kind of change around this because you make them really happy. Now, what's your advice? Mm. Reconciliation here. Well, we see that there is somebody that, you know, a single and available, and they're like, whoa, I really regret some things here, and I am ready to talk, have that conversation. And we do see that you guys were gonna be happy here, completely happy here. So if this isn't, isn't somebody that you had some issues with, okay, as far as an ex goes, this also could be saying, you know, a healing needs to happen here, right? Reconciliation. So it could be saying reconciliation with this person, okay, is the advice. Or it could be saying, you know, focus on healing yourself. 
And also the king energy is like, okay, you know what to do here, right? You're a king. You've had all these past experiences. You know how to make wise choices and wise decisions here when it comes to this person, okay? And the person card's coming out. You know how to be logical about this. You know how to make wise choices and wise decisions. You have the knowledge. Look at that. This king energy is holding the book. It's holding the book because you got you got you got all all the the knowledge here to do it. Okay, so let's see how this is playing out here. So they're communicating with you. They're having heart to heart conversations, and it's a sense of wanting to start a family or something to do with family and long term commitment there. And there's the king energy. You're a wise choice and a wise decision there. Yep, there's a message of love coming in. And they're definitely coming at you. <laughs> the Knight of Wands energy is passionate chemistry coming out there. Yep. There is an opportunity for passionate exercise there with the Ace of Wands energy. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, we see something spiritual. Oh, there's some burdens and challenges because this is a bit of a surprise to you with the Bouquet card energy. Something to do with a gift too because we see the Money card. Something of value there. That's the Bouquet card energy. Yep. And look at that. There's emotions at play or there's a gift of money and finance there with the fish card energy. Because what happened here? What happened here on the second? It's saying that there was a sense of isolation with the, or, or separation here or single and available and then there's something to do with money there. And then friends were like, okay, let me help you out of here. There's some indecisions. There's a sense of healing and recovery. And then the bear card energy, someone wants control around the situation or they're trying to be very nurturing, supportive here. And it's like, you don't want to deal with it. And there's this romantic situation. So we see there's communication, there's message of love, and there's some, some something spiritual here, some burdens, responsibilities, and there's something to do with family, long-term commitment, and a sense of, oh my God, I feel as passionate as chemistry towards you. It's something of a surprise to you. You weren't expecting that. And then, um, you know, it brings this opportunity or renewed opportunity of passion here. And you're just like, what's the wisdom around this? You know, when it comes to my emotions here with the fish card energy, and you can see it here. It's like, hmm, what should I do here? But we see by the end of the week here on the seventh, it's like, I'm completely happy here. And I'm making wise choices when it comes to love and romance. Yes, I feel a little bit nervous about it though. <laughs> Okay, all right, you know guys, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. If you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, or you can do both. Guys, I will see you in another date or two. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you to all my members. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon.